everyone welcome back to learning bridge i hope you guys are doing good and staying safe so i am back with another amazing and really interesting video for all the aspiring data engineers so far on my channel i have talked more and more about the data engineering the typical data engineering profile which is popular across the companies be it the product service consulting startups or any kind of it firm but today i will specifically talk about another most demanding job profile which is cloud data engineer so today i will give you all important insights related to cloud data engineer profile what is the actual definition of cloud data engineer what is their role and responsibilities the basic road map to move into the cloud data engineering profile to very important and most often used cloud services from different cloud platforms what kind of companies will be there which specifically hire for the cloud data engineer role and the average salary for the cloud data engineer profile file in india so there is lots of interesting thing for you to know and before watching the actual content make sure to hit the like button in big big numbers so that this content can reach to all aspiring data professionals who are really interested in the data engineering and also let me know in the comment section do you want me to bring some cloud data engineers from different companies and have a podcast with them if you are really interested then put this thing in the comment section and again if you are new to my channel and watching any of my content for the very first time make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon for such amazing data related content so first thing is what is cloud data engineer what they actually do and what is their roles and responsibilities so honestly speaking there is no difference in terms of the roles and responsibilities between the data engineer and the cloud data engineer so the way data engineers actually work and i have talked about these things in my previous videos as well you can check that out as a data engineer we are supposed to create the scalable and optimized data pipelines where we will bring some data from different sources we will apply the transformations on the fly and make that data available for the downstream system so that is the typical day to day activities of any data engineer and same thing will be done by the cloud data engineers as well and i'm pretty sure you might be feeling little bit confused that if there is no difference between the roles and responsibilities of these two profiles then why they are separated with each other so the major differentiation point here is the tech stack so if we typically talk about the data engineering profiles so let's say there is a company which is working on the data solution and you are hired there for the data engineer profile and let's say that company is mostly working on the open source tech stack and let's say they are even using cloud services but very limited cloud services not all the important things which can help you to create the pipelines so in that case what will happen mostly you will be working on on premises system the company might have their own system cluster the set of commodity hardware servers right where they will install all the necessary things which will help you to create all these scalable and optimized data pipelines and there will be a specific devops team which will take care of all these things hadoop will be installed there spark will be installed there hive will be installed there and whatever you need in terms of the open source frameworks that will be available but you are using it and you are creating the pipeline with the help of that right now the cloud data engineer as you can see cloud term is added as the prefix in this profile so the first priority is that that these guys will be working mostly on the cloud side so whatever you are building on the on premises part the pipelines etl pipelines doing the etl stuff that will be done by these guys on the cloud services and it can be anything any cloud provider aws gcp azure whatever that specific company is using so this is the only difference they are doing the exact thing and here the main difference is the tech stack part so the cloud data engineers are specifically hired to create the pipelines on the cloud not on the on premises system okay so i'm pretty sure that now the difference is really clear between the data engineer and cloud data engineering profile and thanks to crowd.do for sponsoring this video crowd.do is a kind of platform which actually believes in learning by doing so if you are someone who want to crack some top notch product based companies for different job profiles like front end development back end development full stack development and you are lacking in the technical skills and didn't get any chance to work on real world projects then this should be the go to resource for you so crowd.do is actually helping students and working professional to acquire latest tech skills by working on real world projects which are actually created by the companies itself so here you can see some amazing stats 93 percentage placement average ctc of 11 lpa average super dream job ctc 22 lpa 240 plus hiring partners are available here so here you can see all those folks who actually enrolled themselves on cry.do platform and landed into their dream job free trial is available for everything you can get the free trial and when you are satisfied then you can enroll here and also i have provided one special link in the video description make sure to check that out you will be getting some exclusive and amazing offers there and here is the small glimpse of real world kind of projects which you will be working on in the cry.do like building netflix kind of ott platform 
बैक एंड डेवलपमेंट फॉर दी जोमैटो एप्लीकेशन बिल्डिंग अ गूगल न्यूज लाइक एप फ्रंट एंड डेवलपमेंट फॉर दी एयर बी एन बी एप्लीकेशन इंटायर डिटेल इज मेन्शन हेयर इंक्लूडिंग द ड्यूरेशन टेक स्टैक एंड दी काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट विल भी वर्किंग हेयर फुल स्टैक डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम बैक एंड डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम एंड सिमिलरली देर आर टू अमेजिंग वेरी एक्सटेंसिव एंड जॉब गारंटेड प्रोग्राम एज वेल फेलोशिप प्रोग्राम इन सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम इन क्यू ऑटोमेशन आफ्टर कम्पलीटिंग दीज प्रोग्राम देर विल बी आ प्लेसमेंट गारंटी विच इज द बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड एज सुन एज यू विल क्लिक ऑन द लिंक विच आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड इन दी वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन यू विल बी लैंडेड ऑन दिस होम पेज वेर यू विल रिसीव अ स्पेशल गिफ्ट फ्रॉम माई साइड एंड एज सुन एज यू विल अनलॉक इट यू कैन यूज द प्रोमो कोड टू गेट द एक्स्ट्रा डिस्काउंट प्लस स्कॉलरशिप फ्री गाइड टू प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी इंटरव्यूज फ्री गाइड टू बेस्ट रिज्यूमेज एंड फ्री गाइड टू मिनी प्रोजेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाइक ऑनलाइन वाइट बोर्ड कंप्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन दी स्किल्स कॉन्सेप्ट टेक स्टैक नीडेड ड्यूरेशन एंड रेफरेंस एज वेल यू कैन डेफिनेटली क्रिएटेड एंड अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग मिनी प्रोजेक्ट इज इमोशन बेस्ड म्यूजिक प्लेयर सो यूज द लिंक विच इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यूज द प्रोमो कोड एंड इनरोल योर सेल्फ इन क्रायो प्रोग्राम एंड नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू दनदर इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट दट इज द बेसिक रोड मैप विच सम should follow in order to move into the cloud data engineering profile so this is the basic road map for the cloud data engineers or you can say the important skill sets and again i repeat if any of you are watching my video for the very first time then i have even prepared a very extensive road map for the data engineer profile i created that road map video one year back and people just loved it it helped a lot of aspiring data engineers so if you haven't watched it go check that out it will definitely help you to understand the skill sets of data engineer as well so for the cloud data engineer part first obviously the thing which you need to prioritize right that is the good good understanding of the any of cloud platform it can be aws it can be azure it can be gcp right and the services which you need to actually focus those should be related to the big data processing right means whatever service you want to explore in these cloud platforms make sure those will be helpful to create your data pipelines again second the most important part understanding of the programming and the basic level of the data structures and algorithm so in again cloud data engineering these three languages are popular python java and scala if you are proficient with any of it then definitely you can move into it next is the dbms and sql so typical dbms related concepts which you even have read in your graduation post graduation or even your computer science journey so those concepts and sql very very much important to crack your interviews 30 35% weightage will be given to it and not only the basic sql but the important part the advanced part of the sql will be also required in order to crack the interviews right because the interviewer will ask such kind of typical queries and the next important thing is the big data processing related frameworks the hadoop spark hive that's why i'm calling this one as a basic road map not the extensive or anything so if you just want to start right you want to get a flavor of cloud data engineering then this is the basic road map and it will be enough at least to start your journey as the entry level for sure now the next part is the transactional and no sql databases because at then you will be consuming data from different sources or you might be dumping it into the downstream system and you need the databases for that it can be transactional and no sql database and the next is the etl and data warehousing like how typical etl pipeline works how to build it what are different modes of creating pipelines similarly typical concepts of data warehousing like snowflake schema star schema fact tables dimension tables oltp olap and many other important concepts related to data warehousing last but not the least which will even complete your pure basic section of cloud data engineering skill sets you should definitely know at least one orchestration tool because at the end these cloud services are even providing these open source orchestration tools as a managed service on their platform so it would be really great if you know these services it will help you to orchestrate your entire etl pipelines or whatever data related pipelines you have written in any of the cloud platform now i will quickly give you another really important information that is related to the five important cloud services for data pipelines right as a cloud data engineer if you let's say are working on different cloud platform then what would be those top five cloud services which are somehow must to know in order to create the data pipelines so first we will start from this aws like in aws what all important five services will be there so first is aws s3 which is nothing for the storage perspective next is the aws lambda which is basically a serverless service means it don't need any sort of infrastructure to get executed and available in different languages as well and the aws emr or glue so here these are uh basically you can say related to the computation or the etl part right like these services will help you to spin up a cluster and set up these spark hive related thing on that cluster and write your job in such a way on these services so that you can transform your data in the desired format next is the data warehousing service which is 
AWS Redshift in case of AWS and very very much important very widely used next is the AWS CloudWatch so this is basically for the monitoring perspective or you can say event based and cron based job triggers so that's how we use the AWS CloudWatch in Azure for the storage part we have the blob storage in Azure we have Azure functions which work similarly like AWS Lambda and next is the Azure Data Factory which is again the ETL processing service you will be computing the things you will write your application there and the entire transformation logic next is the azure synapsis analytics so this is basically the replacement for the aws redshift means the data warehousing service next the replacement of cloudwatch here is the azure monitor so the things we were able to do with the aws cloudwatch same thing we can do with the help of azure monitor in azure next and the last is the gcp google cloud platform so for the storage we will be having google storage there next for the lambda function kind of thing we will be having google cloud function again the serverless kind of service here Next is the Google Cloud Data Flow, which is again a replacement of Glue EMR or you can say Azure Data Factory in GCP. Next is the Google BigQuery, which is again the replacement of Data Warehousing Service in GCP. And last, which is Google Cloud Operation, it is the alternate of the AWS CloudWatch or Azure Monitor in GCP. And now I'm going to talk about another important point, and that is what kind of companies actually hire for the Cloud Data Engineer profile. So first thing, if you target these three companies, which are the uh, like big, big competitor for the cloud platforms, Amazon or Microsoft or Google, if you specifically target these companies, these companies have the job openings for this cloud data engineer profile like cloud strategist engineer or cloud engineer for data on Google cloud platform. So that kind of specific job profile you can get into these companies. Similarly, Microsoft will be hiring with the similar kind of job profile name and same goes with the Amazon or you can say the AWS. But mostly I have seen the service based companies and the consulting firms aggressively hire for these kind of cloud data engineer profile. Sometimes the profile name will be like AWS data engineer, then it can be Azure data engineer, then it can be GCP data engineer, or it can be simply named as the cloud data engineer. And why consulting and service based companies aggressively hire for these job profiles because they mostly work for the clients, right? and their clients mostly come up with these kind of requirements for example they try to create data pipelines on their own premises cluster and now they realize that it is a bit costly and we can move on to the any cloud platform and make this solution cheaper and really useful for us then definitely they will be having a contract with these service and consulting firms and these companies will be working for them in order to help them with their use cases and to solve their problem with the help of any cloud platform that's how these companies need a specific cloud related data engineers which is really really good either in AWS or GCP or Azure so that they can create the whole pipeline the scalable and optimized ETL pipelines on these specific cloud platforms so opportunities are really really open if you have done good certifications as well related to any of the cloud platform for the data big data analytics then these profiles are definitely really really good fit for you and let me know in the comment section if you don't even know about these certification i will definitely create one dedicated video to talk about important certifications which you can cover in order to move into the cloud data engineering and now the last point is the average salary for the entry level freshers as the cloud data engineer so if we specifically talk about the service based companies or consulting based companies if you start your career with them then on an average you can definitely expect between 10 to 12 lpa but if you target those three top tech giants google microsoft and amazon then that compensation can go up to 25 to 30 lakhs per annum including your base pay your stocks and your bonuses so that's what i had for you guys in this video i'm pretty sure you would have enjoyed it and you would have loved this information related to cloud data engineer and my main motto was to spread some awareness about the cloud data engine profile share some important information with you all so that you can compare these two job profiles so if you like this information and find this video really informative then make sure to hit the like button in big big numbers and again let me know in the comment section if you want me to bring some cloud data engineers from top notch companies so let me know in the comment section i will definitely bring them here and have a podcast with them and if you're watching any of my video for the very first time then hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon i will see you guys in the next week with another amazing content related to the data engineering till then just stay safe stay home take care yourself and your family too